Hello and welcome. My name is Nick Burnham, or Nostalgic One here on the internet, and today I'm going to be streaming some Undertale, which is an indie game that has gotten a ton of attention recently. Uh, it actually has a 94 on Metacritic right now, and it was like up to a 98, I think, at peak, which was actually higher than Metal Gear Solid 5. So for a little while, it was actually the highest rated game on Metacritic, which is crazy for an indie game that I believe was made by one guy. And, uh, it's supposed to be kind of a subversive game, not very long, like, I've heard it's only six hours, and it's supposed to be really similar to games like Earthbound. Uh, it's kind of JRPG-ish, but it really plays a lot with the genre, and um, I don't know much about it other than that. I just really want to play it to see if that's going to work for me in the same way that it worked for other people, and uh, yeah, really excited to play it, really interested in it. If you want to play it, it's on Steam right now for ten dollars i think it might be on gog as well but super cheap uh probably super worth your time no matter what my opinion ends up being but uh i hope you guys can get a sense for how i feel about the game as we go through it and i hope you guys enjoy this let's play um so here we go it's a little weird playing a game that i want other people to play for themselves without experiencing it secondhand first but whatever if that's the way you roll that's the way you roll right so let's go into the Undertale view and bring up the game. A second here. There we go. Mount Ebot. 21X. Soundtrack's really cool so far. So some dude is in a mountain. Undertale. A tale of things under the mountain. Uh, I am playing with a controller uh, for this, so just so that you guys know, you do have controller support. Like I was saying, it's a... Uh, I don't know if I said this on stream, but it's a really... Um, basic menu right here. Uh, not much to go on. Just F4 full screen. When HP is zero, you lose. Joystick controls. Always fun. Let's get into the game, shall we? Um, we're just gonna call him Nick. I love the shaky letters. Is this name correct? Nick! I hope so. I hope it's correct. What if we lost the game already? I guess this is me. Uh, appears to be... It's only a two-button game, so it's A, B, and, and then directional pad and start. So... Even more basic than Earthbound, I guess. More like uh, Mother 1. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Fla or Flowey? I'm Flowey the Flower. Hum. You're new to the underground. Aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! So this is our tutorial. Very culmination of your being. I've heard it's kind of like a bullet hell in combat type stuff. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. I'm guessing. LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. <laughs> That's pretty good. You want some love, don't you? I'll share some with you. I guess that's... Is that love? Love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. <laughs> Are you ready? Move around. 
Get as many as you can. Oh, that actually damaged me. Oh, shit. <laughs> you idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh, shit. Die. Ah. What do we do? I want the love. What happened? That's right, Flowey. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. This is pretty freaky so far. Again, the music is just awesome. Save point. Shadow of the Ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Yes. Cool. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Is that a puzzle? The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. What's this say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk and not the middle road. Huh. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Okay. Press Z to read signs, or A, for me. Stay on the path. Okay. I guess that's the one I need to flip. Please press this switch, Toriel. <clears throat> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. What happens if we press this one, though? The switch doesn't even work. <laughs> Nice. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. <laughs> Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. <laughs> in other words, don't fight at all. Practice talking to the dummy. So this is technically a fight. You encountered the dummy. Uh, fight. What? Dummy stands around absentmindedly. That's similar to Earthbound as well. Okay. That's easy enough. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. <laughs> they are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Of course not. I wonder if you can solve it. Is, it. is the puzzle the fact that we just walk out? Frog, it attacks you. Nice. You won. Love increased. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. What does that mean? This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. <laughs> She's just gonna lead us across it? Not much of a puzzle, eh? Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. <laughs> you have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. What a difficult task. But we got this exciting battle music going on now. This is so exciting. 
Is this a puzzle? That's something different. That was so hard. Greetings. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's, a, it's dangerous to explore by yourself. Like, it's dangerous to go alone. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I'm liking this game a lot so far. It's super cool. Another save point. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? I'm guessing we have to go on by ourselves, though. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Battle. I like this uh, timing-based battle system. Alright, so now we have to dodge this stuff. Doesn't seem to know why it's here. It's like a mix of real time and turn based battle here. Kind of like, it's sort of like Paper Mario, I guess. Is this a. Yeah. Interesting. I've heard there's a lot of puzzles in this game. Oh, that was easy. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, I mean, I like both, but I'm gonna go with butterscotch. Thank you very much. Very earthboundy. This is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. <laughs> Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. <laughs> what about the fourth rock? Battle time. Dead. Not quite. Just have to dodge the frog. That's pretty great. I'm having a grand old time already. Okay. Uh, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Please don't step on the leaves. Okay. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Wimson approached meekly. Nice. This is gonna take a while to get through. Can we even get through this? Yeah, okay. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Shit. Almost had it. This isn't too bad. Kind of forces you to grind a little bit, but... Croak, croak. Frog, it hops to and fro. Get out of here. Shit. This is tough. I'm trying to watch the stream because it's slightly behind so I can see where the leaves are. So right about here. Almost there. Mold small. Block the way. Is that like a jello mold? Burble barb. So like every enemy has like their own animation that you have to avoid in the in their attack screen, I guess. Not too bad. Uh, I don't remember how far this went. 
shit. <laughs> I thought I had it. Oh, okay, that's right. I forgot what it looked like. Yeah, I've heard the puzzles were a little te tedious in this game. This isn't so bad yet, but I guess we'll see what happens. Oh shit. I didn't even see the flies. This is a different attack. Battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. I'm guessing that's bad. I wouldn't know, really. Okay, I think we're out of here now. Nice. Push the rocks. Lots of random battles, huh? Tripped into a line of mold smalls. Sexy wiggle, squirch, slime wound sounds. Oh my god. It is like a bullet health, kind of. You don't have to avoid it for very long, though. I don't know what this is. Act. So this is where you can actually talk with them, I guess. Flirt, imitate. Waits pensively. We don't have any items. Mercy is kind of like running away, I guess. Maybe we'll try and act on the last one that's alive, I guess. Slime sounds, a barb, barb. That's a lot of bullets. Alright. Oh. That's tough. It's only for a few seconds, though. I'm sure the bosses are gonna be ridiculous with the amount of bullets you have to dodge. Slime sounds. Stupid jello molds. Okay, let's see what this does. Flirt with the Jilla Mold. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> Guess I didn't do much. Did say he was ruminating? Nice. Maybe it makes him weaker? Or it weaker? But this uh, seemed to have like a... That wasn't the same attack as before. Maybe that made its attack go down. Our love increased. Not our level, our love. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around, hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, that's the wrong way. <laughs> that was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. There you go. Was that helpful? Sure was. What? He moved off it. Because we ran into it. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Jerk rock. Jerking me around. Is that cheese? This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Cool. Knowing the mouse might one day leave this hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. We can make the mouse make sounds. Is that a ghost? A sleeping ghost. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Guess it's a boss. Nap stab bluke. Good thing we're level three, huh? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> oh no, he's crying. That is so cool. Wishing they weren't here. I'm fine, thanks. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> it's like this depressed ghost is staring into the distance. Love all these attacks. Oh my god. It's close. Wishing they weren't here. There was only one difficulty as far as I can remember. You do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sorta incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Sorry. I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. 
You won! <laughs> we lost experience for beating the ghost. Or for fighting the ghost, I guess. That's pretty funny. What is this? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down into the right. Come eat food made by spiders. Four spiders of spiders. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Is this like the tutorial thing? I heard using F4 can make you full screen. Four frogs? <laughs> I have only seen a maximum of three frogs. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Oh, okay. So mercy is actually for the monsters. Very helpful. It's bad. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Huh. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something that you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Good to know. I guess we'll just keep going, huh? There's just one switch. Okay. I guess we have to fall down these holes. Oh, there it is. We almost got it on the first try. I'm assuming that worked. Battle time. Megasp. So the moles of all we can spare. Oops. Oh shit, I missed. I was trying to do mercy, not fight. So let's see if we can... Spare the... Nothing like alone time. <laughs> He's like doing the worm. Doesn't have a care in the world. Oh, now we can spare him if we wanted. Nothing like alone time. All he does is dance. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Nice. That's a pretty cool mechanic that you can spare some enemies. It's a switch. Sure, nothing happened. Far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. What? What far door? Uh... Yeah, nothing. I Do the switches not do anything? I bet the switches don't do anything. Yeah. It's not actually a puzzle room. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Contains vitamin A. <laughs> Gave a mysterious smile. He is very mysterious, I can tell. Get out of here. Vitamin A for attack. Get out of here. Wait a minute, we were here before, right? You can read this. Press the blue switch. <laughs> there is no blue switch. Maybe it's hidden. Yep. It's a switch. Look at that. I'm so clever. A pair of vegetoys came out of the ground. Eh. Farmed locally, very locally. Part of a complete breakfast. Oh no, there's tomatoes and shit in here too. Cackles softly. I hope we don't die. Fresh morning taste. Shit. This is tough. Vegetoid's here for your help. We could spare him. So anytime that they're yellow, we can spare them, I guess. 
Battle music sounds vaguely like Pokemon. Which I guess I shouldn't be surprised by, but... Oop. Oh, that was a little mean. Seems kind of bruised. Mercy. Zero XP, because we spared them. Is that why? Were we here before? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. Easy enough. If you can read this, press the green switch. Oh. Oh, now we're back here, shit. It was it this way, right? So, there wasn't a switch over there. Must have been this one. I need another save point. I don't know where we're going either. It's a tree. Oh, she was here. I guess. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. There's our save point. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. So I guess determination is what's supposed to get us going. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. You smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie! <laughs> but we said we like butterscotch. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on, small, on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> well, let's do snail pie. I have another surprise for you. This sepia-toned house. It's pretty cool. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Sort of reminiscent of the, the house that you get in Earthbound. Love them. Again, love every track on the soundtrack so far. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Oh, and the music changes when we turn the light off. Sweet. Super cool. Let's go to bed, I guess. Is that sh is that pie? That's our pie. Honest life is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Look at these cool toys. They don't let they don't interest you at all. <laughs> Perfect. I could take some butterscotch cinnamon and pie right now. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. No, I do not. What is this? It's Toriel's Diary. Read the circled pack passage? Um, sure. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Haha! <laughs> That's pretty good. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> All Toriel writes in her journal is bad jokes. Just a regular old bucket. Bucket of snails. What is Toriel exactly? I'm not really sure. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. The cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants? I don't know what that means. What if? Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. <laughs> it's a mirror. It's 
It's a water sausage. <laughs> yeah, right. That makes total sense. This game is just very charming so far. Autorial is reading. Cute. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> More bad jokes. Hands of the tools are filed down. It's pretty funny. Off already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Not really. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh... Let's say nothing for now. Talk to me again if you need anything. I'm gonna explore a little bit more. Ooh, pie. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Hey, I put chocolate in the fridge all the time. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. <laughs> Apparently, fire magic is a thing. Um, I guess we'll talk to Toriel and see. We didn't go downstairs yet, did we? We didn't go downstairs yet, right? We kind of want to save again, too. Let's talk to Toriel before we leave. She might say something different. I'm going to save first. I believe uh, the guy who made this game made all the music himself as well, which is pretty crazy. It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Yes. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Okay. How to exit. I have to do something. Stay here. Is she gonna hate us for trying to leave? I would. Just eat pie and run. Uh, is she gonna come back? What if she left? Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. That's weird. Must be fire magic, then. Seems like the right size for Toriel. Um, I don't know what to do now. I guess we just leave, huh? Sorry, Toriel. Oh, she's right here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, shit. We can't let her do that. We need to get the hell out of here. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins... Asgore will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I hope we don't have to fight her. That would suck. Ooh. You want to leave so badly. Humph. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. To me as... Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Yeah, I knew it. This is kind of sad. Toriel blocks the way. She has a ton of hit points. Oh my god. Fire magic! Ah! Her attacks last a long time too. 
wonder how long it takes her to charge up a magic attack. It's gonna take a while. Oh my god, what was that? Acting aloof. Ah! This is tough. Should we flee? I do have a pie. Eh, ah, what is that? Ah! These attacks are like unavoidable. Oh shit. Ugh, that was really good. Pretty good at getting in the center, it's just really hard to avoid these attacks. Sometimes it lasts a long time. Eh. I think we can beat her. Shit. As long as we don't get hit by the spire too much. Like, twice, like I just did. Might have to go grind, I guess, I don't know. There were some places that I didn't go yet, but... Uh, flee? We escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. <laughs> well, I guess we have to go grind until we can kill her. Or defeat her, rather. I hope we don't kill her. That would suck. Maybe we can get another slice of pie? That would be helpful. Uh, maybe she'll give us another one if we rest. I'm guessing that's how it works. Nick, please, wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, babe, how's it going? game has been pretty cool so far. I really would like another slice of pie. Since it gave us our health back and everything. Well. I'm gonna save, I guess. Let's see where... There were more places that we can go down here, so... Let's grind a little bit. What the fuck? Is this a knife? You found the toy knife. I don't know how to equip it, though. Oh, there we go. I guess there's a third button. Toy knife. Use. You equip toy knife. Again, all of this is very similar to Earthbound. Dying? I hope you're not dying. I am having a lot of fun playing this game so far, though. Um, really cool. Say hello. Oh, this is your phone. Call her mom. Nobody picked up. Yeah, she probably won't talk to us right now. Okay. Well, we figured out how to use equipment and stuff, so... Maybe the knife will do enough damage that we can beat her. I'm guessing we'll be fine now, but I do not know. So foreboding in this tunnel here. What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Another piece of pie would be helpful. Oh, it comes from the other direction now. And it didn't do that much more damage. Ugh, it's tough. Tough, tough, tough. I wonder why it came from the other direction last time. That was weird. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Without grinding a little bit. Yeah, we're only doing like... Five or six more damage on average. 
wonder what will happen if we die. Yeah. Now she shoots two of those things? That's annoying. Like, we do okay damage, but she just does too much and her attacks are too powerful. Shit, man. I'm gonna see what happens when we die. Did the screen just become bigger? Oh, look, they're avoiding me. Maybe she won't kill me. Look at that, they're avoiding me. It's weird. Okay. I guess she's not gonna kill me. 62 damage, nice. Huh, must be impossible to die here. 348! I wonder why we kept doing more damage. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Ellipsis. <laughs> Asgore! Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Dot 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 dot. Be good, won't you? My child. Aww. No, she's dead! No! We broke her heart into pieces. Her soul. I feel like an ass. Oops. That sucks. We still only have one hit point? Yeah. So I guess you can't lose that battle, which is nice. Too bad we ate the pie, then. This sucks. It's flowy again, or flowy again. Hope you like your choice, after all. It's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, heh <laughs> heh, she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. This flower is the worst. I hate it. We need a save point. Undertale. Now it really starts. By Toby Fox. Yeah. That's the guy's name. Inception sound. This game is awesome so far, Jason. I love it. Camera hidden in the bushes. I guess they're watching me then. Oh, look at that. Trees in the foreground. That's really cool. Still at one hit point. Is this a stick? It's a tough looking branch, it's too heavy to pick up. Okay. Whoa, what was that sound? What was that? This is creepy. The game's gonna turn into limbo all of a sudden. Okay. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. No. Just run away. I've I've heard there were skeletons in this game. Wow. That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Yeah, so he's talking... The font that he's using is Comic Sans, so that's why his name is Sans. I've heard this. It's pretty funny. I'm actually supposed to be on Watch for Humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. 
Now my brother, Papyrus. <laughs> He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Not much of a gate then, huh? Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. <laughs> you just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No, you'll give me away. <laughs> no, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. <laughs> I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal god. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. He even as a cape. Maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. Skeleton jokes. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton, ugh. Oh my god. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Oh my god. This is awful. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey. Wow. That was just really embarrassing. <laughs> what is this thing? Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. Ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Interesting. Can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might... <laughs> Might just make his day. Don't worry. He's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Uh, I don't feel like we should do that. Here's our save point. Convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. <laughs> we are level five. Yes. Oh, it's an inventory. Uh, I guess we have a stick now. Tough glove. Tough glove, weapon attack 5, worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. What about the stick? Stick weapon attack 0. Bark is worse than its bite. Let's see how much the knife does. Weapon attack 3, made of plastic a rarity nowadays. Nice. Snow Drake, flutters forth. Press Z. Oh! Ice puns are snow problem. So I guess now we have to do other things. Um, I don't remember which button is Z on my controller. Well, Snowdrake realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. Uh, do I actually have to press Z on the keyboard? Because that would be annoying. I might have to do that. Yeah, I think so. My fave ice cereals, frosted. Wow. It smells like a wet pillow. Gross. So we just have to press Z as much as we can. It's too bad that you can't use that on the controller, though. It's kind of annoying. There we go. You earned 22 XP and 18 gold. Your love increased. So now we're level level 6. Level 6? 
Let's see what's in the north path first. Fishing rod. Affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Yes. A photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Do you think we still have his number? Probably no answer, yeah. Since she's dead. So, as I was saying about Undyne. Uh oh. Do we have to fight both of them? <laughs> Just spinning. <laughs> Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Actually, I think that's a rock. <laughs> oh. What's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! I finally did it! I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! <laughs> human, you shall not pass this area. Hi, the Great Papyrus. We'll stop you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> Keep an eye socket out for you. Another battle. Ice cap. Oh. Maybe it's because we have the uh, glove on that we have to press Z, I guess. Oh shit. It's like a sine wave. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. That's pretty cool. I wish you wouldn't have to use the keyboard, though. It's, again, meh. Absolutely no moving. Oh, we didn't even talk to the cabin. Oops. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observed the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal godsman. Nope, not yet a very famous royal godsman. <laughs> Papyrus. Absolutely no moving. There's a dog. I can only see moving things. <laughs> I'll make sure it never moves again. D Dago? Dogo? Okay. Nice. Don't move an inch. Whoa. That sucks. So I guess we can avoid it if we don't move. Oh. Oops. You won. That was easy. Guess he's not here anymore. I wonder what happened if you didn't move for that attack. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Think about blue stop signs. Great. How do we get to that sign? this? North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden town, and ice. Um, I don't know which way we want to go. I guess we'll go north. Lesser dog. Oh. Oh, it jumps. Tuck this tail between its legs, and there's a sword and shield for no reason. Later. Snowman! Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. You got the snowman piece. What piece did we take? How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. <laughs> uh. Heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. So we probably shouldn't eat it. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. 
<laughs> That's called sleeping. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. Doesn't really sound like fun to me. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> it actually shocked him. Sans, what did you do? <laughs> why am I why would I hold the orb if it's gonna shock me? And now he just showed me the path. Nice. Hold this place. Perfect. Okay, try now. Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily! However, the next puzzle will not be so easy! It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. It's pretty good. He hasn't worn anything since. Man, isn't my brother cool? He's ice cold. Who is this guy? It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, he's like an ice cream guy. A customer! Uh, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Uh, sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Let's see what it does. Heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. <laughs> Cute. Is this another puzzle? It's a snowball. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? Sure. I meant 50. Uh... Should we buy it? No. That's still too low. I guess let's see where this goes. Oh, we have to bounce it all the way there. I wonder what'll happen if we do that. We can walk diagonally, it's just kind of hard. We have to get it in the hole here. It's like golf. Oh, it's melting. Shit. Nice. Hole in one. Probably not. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow... snow decahedron. <laughs> nice. Or a die, in other words. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You were awarded two gold. That's it? <laughs> uh, which way do we go? Oh, they're down here for some reason. Sands, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. <laughs> Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Wow. Do I actually do it? Uh. Look at the words. Fall, winter, spring, summer, monster skeletons, mermaid, robot, cigars, sig, yes, for hot. Ice E. Sans, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crosswood instead. What? Crosswood? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hottest. <laughs> what? Really? Dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Jumble or crossword? Uh... Definitely crossword, right? You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. <laughs> because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Finds difficulty in interesting places. Trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> nice. Guess we'll save. 
Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. <laughs> what? Fills you with determination. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly draped again by the great Papyrus. Nehehehe, <laughs> Papyrus. Alright, this part is getting a little old, but I guess we'll find it. Warning, dog marriage. Whatever that means. Okay. Ice cap appears. Jerry came too. We'll give... Oh, I was gonna give some mercy to Jerry. Oops. Shh, I'm thinking, guys. Oh. Jerry lets out a yawn. Where's your hat? Snowing dandruff. No. No, it's hat residue. <laughs> Dandruff. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Ice Cap's hat is loose. Get it, Ice Cap, so lots of hat puns. Love increased. It's an X. Supposed to be a maze or something? Maybe this is a map to somewhere? Kind of looks like a map. We can't get over this, though. Um, huh. Oh, it's right here. Switch in and snow. Click. Yeah, so that was a map of this area. <laughs> Dog skeletons. Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify yourself. I'm just not gonna move. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Uh-oh. Doggy assault you. What? Dogamy and Dogarisa. <laughs> So this is dog marriage, I guess. At least they only have one health bar. Take my wife's fleas, don't actually... What the fuck? Oh, they're axes. That's really hard to avoid. The dogs are re-evaluating re your smell. Oh, they do only have... They each have their own health bar, sorry. Don't actually... It's really hard to avoid. Damn it. Oh shit. I didn't mean to stop it there. Oh, X is A, duh. Or Z is A, duh. The controller should work, I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Uh, I need to use some health. Uh, ice cream? Kneel and suffer! That's really hard to avoid. How are you supposed to avoid any of that? It's on a warpath. I don't want to eat the snow piece. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so it, it's just the same button. I'm stupid. I hope I don't die. Oh, you can just go underneath. There we go. I figured it out. Sorry, guys. There. That was close. We figured it out, though. You just go underneath. What is this, tic-tac-toe? Okay. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Oh, oops. Can we turn this back? I think I messed up. Okay. 
See, it pays to read instructions first. So far, none of these puzzles are really difficult, so... What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Uh... Left it. Really? Wowie, you resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> all right. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what if he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> What's this one, I wonder? The same... Oh, it's probably the same puzzle. Herm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. <laughs> Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. Okay. Is it the same instructions? Yep. This looks kind of difficult. Um... Oh, we missed the first one. Oops. I messed up. Okay. I think we can do this. Yeah, that's not that bad. Press the switch. Wow, you solved it. You did it without all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, Sans is back. Cause I love doing absolutely nothing. I can I can relate, dude. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you stop on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. <laughs> awesome. Blue tiles are water tiles. If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. That makes no sense. Okay. If a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Oh, sure. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. <laughs> Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Uh... Sure. There's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. <laughs> I figured. That has never been seen before. This is awful. Is it all going to be one color? Yeah. I figured. <laughs> nice. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier wasn't too bad for my brother. Nice. Oh, shall we hit the machine? Oh, lame. On the floor inside is a box of palmer raisins. Nice. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. <laughs> it's pretty good. The humor in this game is pretty good so far. Snow can always be broken down and rebuilt into something more useful. 
The simple fact fills you with determination. As always. We're a little over an hour now. Here's another XO puzzle. Shall we do it? This also reminds me of Pokemon. Hmm. Looks like we messed it up. Can we slide off the edge? Oh, we can. It's a snow papyrus and sands. <laughs> it's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Very cool. I guess we have to go through this, huh? Um, man, I've always hated these kind of puzzles. They're not very fun. But I think we can do it. I think we got it this time, actually. Nice. Lock behind the trees. What was that? We got snow on us, apparently. Why do we have a house? There's like a snow house on my head. It's weird. And that was just a lump. Interesting. Uh, do we want to do this way? Let's go this way first. What's up? What are those things? What? Are you following me? Wasn't he in the same frame? Gift Trot confronts you. What the hell is that thing? Weird. This glove does a lot of damage though. Go ahead and laugh. Presents. Oh, I have to pick the right one. I guess. Sent to fresh pine needles. I don't know how that attack works. Leave me alone. Snow, oh no. Antlers tremble. We could have spared him, but I kind of want the experience. It looked like he was in the same frame, but I guess he's never in the same frame. As himself. Um, so that looks like, pro like the next area, so I'm going to go back first. I don't want to miss anything. Since I probably won't play this game more than once. But it's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh. There's 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. Was that a dog? Yeah. Arf, arf. Oh shit, <laughs> it's a boss. Uh oh. It's the Greater Dog. Greater Doge. Oh my god, listen to the soundtrack. It's pretty great. <laughs> He's just sleeping. Oh shit, he shoots barks. Greater dog is watching int intently. Get out of here. Dodge the barks. That's hard. Panting slowly. Dead. You won! Okay, so that was obviously a boss. I guess. So maybe that's the next area. These branching paths don't make themselves very obvious as to like which one is the way you're supposed to go and which way is optional, so... Kind of annoyed about that, but... What is this? It's a door. Is this a puzzle? Uh... Do we really care to do this right now? This is kind of weird. Uh, maybe we'll get a clue about it later or something. I don't really care to do it right now. 
it'll, it'll take too long to do all the combinations. I mean, I guess it wouldn't take that long, but... Oh, should we do it? It won't take that long, right? There's only four. I don't know why they make mouse sounds, but... We'll do it. Whatever. Yeah, this kind of puzzle is dumb, but whatever. Uh, what haven't we tried? This? Well, isn't that all the combinations? Um, did we not try one? Maybe we're supposed to press them in order or something? If that's the case, then that's gonna take a lot longer, so... Well... Yeah. Whatever, I don't care. Puzzle schmuzzle. We're gonna go on. You guys can YouTube that puzzle <laughs> later, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to stream the whole game tonight. I was kind of planning on it, but we might only do like half of it or something. And then do the rest later. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. It's <laughs> pretty good. We'll fully activate. Because I am about to do it! Nothing happened. Hold up! I'm about to activate it now! I love the spinning dog. It seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. <laughs> I'm a skeleton with standards! Perfect. Well, that was easy. I would make sure I understand blue attacks. So I guess we have to fight him finally. Hopefully. Welcome to Snowden. Snowed in. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Uh, no, that's our storage. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. <laughs> I guess we'll check the shop first. Oh, that's cool. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Manly bandana. It has abs on it. <laughs> Plus 7 defense. Probably want that. Heals 11 HP times 2. Eat it twice. Bicycle. <laughs> Instead of an icicle. That's pretty good. Cinnamon bun. Heals 22 HP. It's my own recipe. Nah, -uh, you stole it. Stole it from Toriel. Okay. Guess we'll buy a bicycle, huh? Do we have anything to sell? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Hello. Sorry, I, I'm, 
<clears throat> I wanted to do more dialogue, but my throat is getting kind of scratchy. Scratchy, so. I am here by myself. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. Asserted themselves. Oh, so that's the door to the ruins, I guess. So unless you're a ghost or burrow under the door, forget about it. Okay. So maybe we're not supposed to go in there yet. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? True enough. Come again sometime. We'll equip our, uh, manly bandana. With the muscles on it, apparently. It's a bear. Too bad I killed those merry dogs. <laughs> the pup, they bury Papyrus' bones. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. It's interesting that first when we came to the snowy area, it was really foreboding and we, like it was sad, and now it's like Christmas time, so. Different tone for the same area. You're wearing a striped shirt. skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Makes total sense to me. I didn't stay at the inn yet. Oh, I like that it has a Z over it. Though. <laughs> Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snow Snowden's premier hotel. 80 gold. That's okay. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Oh, okay. I guess it's worth it then. It's like, why would I stay at a hotel if I can just recover at a save point? Here's your room key, make sure to bundle up. Oh yeah, you look like you had a great sleep. You were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> oh, we get our money back? What? Did I press a button? I think maybe because I pressed a button or something? I don't know. Oh, we can't even go upstairs. We can try it again, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna press a button this time. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's music. <laughs> Musical snoring. Did that count? No. Oh, nope. I guess we can't stay here. Hmm. Interesting. Spamming that save, though. Oops. <laughs> Sorry I killed the married dog couple. Girl bees. Is that a mouse and a scarf? 
Oh, it's a bar. It's so, so quiet in here. We'll lighten up, everybody. That's why I hate the, this place. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're not going to start moving here. Who knows? Maybe we'll have room. Jukebox is broken. So it's non-diegetic music, then. Non-diegetic. Yeah. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard. The... Huh? Where are they? I killed them all. Because <laughs> he's a fish, get it? Plenty of fish in the sea. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> Interesting enough. You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. Ah! More great puns. Such great puns. It just feels like everything is getting worse and worse. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose, morose about it? I don't really know what he is, or she, what it is. Is that a mustache? I've sent the kids inside. It feels unsafe here today. Okay. What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. My patience rewards me. <laughs> Interesting. Are they making ice cubes? Huh. Do we have to ride on it? Uh... Maybe we're supposed to use snowman's thing here? Snowman piece? Please take this to the ends of the earth. It seems like the ends of the earth. Gave it a little pat. I don't know if that worked or not. Seems like the end of the earth. Probably not. Library. Maybe we should go back and talk to the snowman now? I don't know. Sign is misspelled. Was it really? Oh, library. <laughs> That's pretty good. I didn't even notice. Uh, that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? I am not. But it thinks that because I answered that crosswords are harder than um, word search. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. What an honor. We just fill it with comics and games. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Yikes. What a commentary. Love, hope, compassion. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things. <laughs> Yikes. That's... that's uh, cynical, dude. Oh, monster history. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> it's a school report about monster funerals. Technically speaking, our cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Nice. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. 
They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Okay. Here I am writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defense will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Oh. Therefore, a being, if a being with a powerful soul struck the desire to kill... What's in the chapter here? Yeah, so there are some deeper things going on here. Oh, and this is the one we read, sorry. Okay, so that's maybe why our attack did more damage to Toriel at the end. Uh, because we had a higher intent to kill, I guess. Mailbox. It's nighttime now, too. Or it looks, it looks darker, right? It's empty. Yeah, so that just takes us right back here. Oops. Pretty cool so far. I'm getting the feeling that there's something sinister going on, though. For sure. Oh, there's those ice cubes floating by. What is going on here? Uh, okay. Are we frozen? I know we have to fight him. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings, like the joy of finding another pasta lover. <laughs> I am very great. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. You are a human. I must capture you. Prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Here we go. I think we'll be okay. He has a big HP bar. Let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack so we don't move for blue attacks. Nice. I remembered. Working so far. Oh shit! Now we're a blue heart. <laughs> That's my attack. Oh shit! What does that mean? Do we get hit by stuff now? Behold! Oh, now we have physics. Or we have gravity, rather. Rattling his bones. How high can you jump? This is kind of tough. It's like limbo, but in reverse. <laughs> Don't make me use my special attack. Dodging bones. <laughs> I almost taste my future popularity. What? We can't. Oh, we're not supposed to move for that one. I don't think. Remember the bad joke Sans told and is frowning. <laughs> I did a lot. Head of the Royal God! Oh shit, it's Flappy Bird. <laughs> oh, nice! I like that it's becoming increasingly more difficult. Oh, that was faster too. It fell faster. Unparalleled Spigator! Oh shit. Yeah, we don't move for blue ones. Preparing a bone attack. Nice. 
and Dian will be really proud of me. Yeah, this isn't too bad. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. A non-bone attack then spends a minute fixing his mistake. <laughs> That's pretty good. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Behold, my special attack! That's a dog bone. <laughs> hey, you stupid dog! I love all this banter, like, during combat. It's pretty cool. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Getting ready for a regular attack. So far, so good. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, that was tough. Uh. Yikes. This one's taking forever. Oh, no, the dog hit us. Cool. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's a bone on a skateboard. What? Uh. Oh, we can fly. That was cool. Because I held up the entire time. Oh, it was only for that part, okay. That was neat. It's like polka music in the background. It's clear you can't defeat me. Therefore I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Uh, let's kill him. Should we kill him? I mean, we could spare him. Let's spare him. See what happens. We could have killed him, but... I'll never join the Royal Guard. My friend Quantity Roll remains stagnant. Aww. Come on, let's be friends. You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends. And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> Seems totally logical. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Cross the barrier. Huh. Powerful soul, like you. I see. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, <laughs> a big fuzzy pushover. Mr. Dreamer? Being a cool friend. <laughs> what? I don't really know how he walked like that, but okay. Uh, okay. Next area. Still ice cubes. So I think there is some replay value with the choices that you make, but... Other than that, I don't know. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her, too? She's the coolest, right? Oh, Sans is here, too. An echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh. So if I talk to this guy... Will it say the same thing? Oh. It just keeps hearing the fish guy say that pretty funny. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. 
Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Uh, sure. I can go to Grubby's. <laughs> Shortcut. Isn't this the wrong way? What? <laughs> that was fast. Sansy. <laughs> nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. Wow. Stupid whoopee cushion. Uh, burger. That sounds pretty good right now. I'm getting hungry. Double order a burg. He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He wears it in the shower. Uh, yeah. Bon Appetit! Aw, oh, I hate that. Forget about it! Aw, oh, thanks, Sans. He gave me his food. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. The echo flower. And they'll repeat it over and over. Interesting. I wonder what that means for the story. Well, that was a long break. <laughs> 10,000 gold? No. I was going to say something, but I forgot. I guess we have to walk back. The library. Hey, it's Papyrus. Like what? The lookout? Nope. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, cool. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. Nice. Sprinkles. Wow. There's <laughs> the dog. Car says. He's playing a trombone! Nice! <laughs> Incidental music. Welcome to Scenic, my house. Food museum. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. Other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Why a dirty sock? Wow. <laughs> it's 
Stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. What? It's a joke book. <laughs> Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. There's another quantum physics book. Wow. Uh, not quite yet. <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah, she. The protagonist does kind of look like a five year old, but. I guess the kids in Earthbound look pretty young, too. Door is locked. Let's go hang out like a pair of very cool friends. He's got a race car bed, of course. Oh, those are all the attacks. Well, that's news. <laughs> From Santa. I wonder who Undyne is. Humans must have descended from skeletons. Nice. Wow. No skeletons in his closet. Yes. Cool. Guess we're gonna leave. Not really much to... We're not really rewarded much for exploration, I feel. Which is kind of disappointing, but... It was kind of cool to get more background information on them, I guess. I mean, we're sort of rewarded for exploration because we got more things to interact with, but not in like a gameplay kind of way. We're not like more powerful, but I guess that's not really the point, huh? This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely a box hater. Do we have to dodge this snow? I'm guessing. an echo flower behind the rushing water we're not getting hit by it or anything oh here we go nice tutu lying on the ground uh yeah got the old tutu still have no idea what these mushrooms do Armor defense 10. Finally a protective piece of armor. The old one was 7, right? Oh, we have a shadow now. It's a knight. Maybe that's Undyne. Yep. Yeah, I'm his friend. 
Oh no. He saw me. This might be tough. He has a spear. But it's blue. Guess we don't have to fight him yet. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> that was her. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, it's flat on his face. That made no sense. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. That's how I actually feel. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Oops. I did that wrong. God damn it. I wonder if the puzzles are going to get harder as we go or not. Probably not. I don't feel like they're going to anyway, but they might. Aaron flexes in. Sweating. Oh, we have to dodge his sweat? That's gross. Smells like a muscle farm. Ah, ha, ha. Get it? Because he's made of muscles? What are we, level 8 now? Yeah. Love 8? How do we get to that sign? Huh. Is that a bell? An error is made. The bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh, okay. So how do we align these? They have to be four, I guess. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Um. I don't feel like that was right. Just as I was talking about the difficulty of the puzzles. I'm gonna see what this sign says. I think we can get to it. If I don't screw up. Again, no idea what these mushrooms actually do. Be nice if they told me, but... Congratulations, you failed the puzzle! <laughs> uh, troll, 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 troll. Okay. What do we do here? Um... Not entirely sure. Maybe like this? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Duh. Vertically, not horizontally. Nothing behind this waterfall. When did we get Papyrus's number? Yeah. <laughs> I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. What? I am wearing a dusty tutu. Wow. That's kind of creepy. A long time ago, monsters would whisper to their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. <laughs> They're not actually stars. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. We're in a battle. Washua. 
I don't even know what that is. It's like a turtle with a rubber duck in its back. Weird. Your soul is something. Unclean, probably. I'm just gonna kill it. Later. Come on, sis, make a wish. Uh, yes. We can see some echo stars. Or, er, check wall? Which wall? There's a message in the telescope. I like that they're not actually stars. This wall? Interesting. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. I think we're gonna go until we get the next checkpoint and then I'm gonna be done for tonight. Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it's the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Fathomable power. Huh. It's an illustration of a strange creature. Yeah, there's definitely something sinister going on here. Take the raft. We have to fight Undyne now? Yeah. I hope I didn't miss a save point. Oh shit. Oh cool! We have to like dodge it as we're actually playing. Pretty sweet boss fight, huh? Shit. got through that part. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. It's okay, you can't find us. We're too short. Oh, he found us. <laughs> oh, no! Don't kill it! Don't kill him. Phew! That was scary. Wait, is the guy still there? Or did he just take it? I think he took the guy. Oh, he's still there. Nice. Did you see that? Undyne just touched me! Wow. This guy has a crush on Undyne for some reason. I'm sure we'll see her again. And fell on his face. Is that Jello? Cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table again. <laughs> this flower just says squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the, from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. All right, well, that's just about two hours, so I think that's a good stopping point right after that. Uh, it wasn't really a boss fight, but it was sort of a boss fight. So, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in if you tuned in, and I'll be sure to stream this again. Uh, I don't know when, maybe like Monday or over the weekend or something, but I'm really excited to play through the rest of this game. And, yeah, I've been Nick or Nostalgic One. I will see you guys next time. Bye.